If you have a large list of students that you would like to enroll into a course, we can do this by uploading a CSV file. The format for this file is very similar to the format of the file that we use to enroll users, but we have a few different fields. To begin with, we don't have the first name, last name, email, and password fields. That's because these users have already been enrolled onto our system. Moodle identifies users by their username, not their email address or name or surname. Next, we have a column called Course 1. This will be the course that we want our students to be enrolled into. And next to that, we have group one. This is the group that we want to assign to users in course one. For every course that we want to enroll users in after this, we need to name them in the same way. So the next course will be course two. And the group for course two will be group two and the next one course 3 and the group for course 3 will be group 3. Another field that we can add to our enrollment is role. Role 1. This will set the role for users who are being enrolled into course 1. This is handy if we have a list of teachers as well as students that we are trying to enroll. Let's start filling out this form. Under course 1, we need to give Moodle the identity of the course that we want to enroll these students into. We do not use the course full name, we use the course short name. That's why the course short names need to be unique. To get the course short name, you can get, pick it up from the breadcrumb or by clicking on edit settings and then copying it from the course short name field. Once you have it, you can paste it into Excel and extend it for all the other users who will be enrolled into the same course. Remember to set the autofill option to copy cells instead of full. Next, we can assign a group. If we don't already have the group on our system, Moodle will create the group when we upload this form. And finally, we can set the role for each user. By default, when uploading a user into a course, the role is set to student. But if we have a teacher, we need to add the role editing teacher or teacher. Remember, an editing teacher will be able to edit activities inside of a course. A non-editing teacher or a normal teacher will not be able to edit activities. They'll only be able to manage users and view reports. Once you're done, hit save. And don't forget to export this file as a CSV file. Back in Moodle, we can head back to Site Admin, then click on Users, Upload Users, and then drag and drop our file into this field. We'll set the delimiter to a semicolon and hit Upload Users. Everything looks good in our user preview, but we just need to change a few settings for this upload. Under Upload Type, it's still set to Add New Only, Skip Existing Users. But all of these users are existing users, so we'll say Update Existing Users Only. Alternatively, if you have a mix between new users and existing users, you can say add new and update existing users. However, I wouldn't recommend this approach. I would recommend creating the accounts for all the users first and then enroll them into their courses. This avoids confusion in our Excel sheet. We leave the rest of the fields as default and click upload users. We can scroll through the results to see that everyone was added correctly. Click continue. Now, let's head back to our course and confirm whether these users have been enrolled.
and there they are. All the users have been enrolled into the course, they've all been added to the group that we assigned, and one of the students has the role of teacher. 